close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to be as consistent as you can as you stay with the breath. It's through the consistency that focusing on the breath makes a change in the mind. Otherwise, it just becomes one more place in your trap line. You check this out, check that out, check the breath out, go check something else out. And the impact it does it has doesn't go very deep into the mind. But if you stay with the breath for a long time, first it may seem frustrating, nothing much is happening, but after a while you begin to settle in. You realize that you can stay here. The breath is not going to go anywhere else. It's going to stay right here. The going someplace else is an activity of the mind, but it's not necessary. We need to think sometimes, but not all the time. All too often we identify ourselves with our thoughts, and we think that if we're not thinking, we're not there. But actually you can be very much aware and there with the breath. And the mind gets a chance to rest. And when it's rested, then it can see its thoughts a lot more clearly. If you're inside your thoughts all the time, they're like an old shoe. You're in the old shoe and it feels familiar. But if you take your foot out of the shoe and then you compare the foot with the shoe, you begin to see that the shoe has begun to, to form your foot. It's only when you separate things out like this you can see the impact they have on you. So learn how to step out of your thoughts. That way you get a better chance of looking at your thoughts to see what impact they're having on you, what impact they're having on other people. And thinking about the impact, the long-term results, is an important part of wisdom, as the Buddha said. Wisdom begins with the question, what when I do it will lead to long-term welfare and happiness? The wisdom there is, lies in the fact that you realize there is such a thing as long-term. And of course it's better than short-term, and it's going to come from your actions. So when you're thinking about things in the present moment, it's not just that you like to think right now or you're having some fun thinking about things. You have to think about, where is this going to take me? Some thoughts take you to bad places, as the Buddha said. Some, some of the paths in the world lead to cesspools, some of them lead to pits of burning charcoal. In other words, your thoughts can take you to a lot of suffering if you're not careful. There are other paths, though, that lead to a nice cool lake, the shade of trees, a palace. In other words, the thoughts have a good impact on the mind and they get you to do good things that would lead you to good places. So you have to ask yourself, which paths do you want to follow? All too often we don't even care about what's at the end of the path. We said, the path itself seems really nice, I'm going to stay right here. But you have to look down at the end, where is it going? Because people who are going on the path to cesspools and pits of burning charcoal don't realize that that's at the end of the path. They just follow where they want to go. So you have to look at the long-term consequences of your actions if you want to be wise. And stepping out of your thoughts for a while is a good way to get some perspective on where your thoughts are going. So learn this skill. Just stay with the breath. If you're going to think about anything, think about the breath. But after a while you've thought about the breath until it's comfortable, then you can stop thinking about it. Just be with the sensation of breathing. And that puts you in a position where you can see a lot of things more clearly than you could before.